Imagine your car knows you're tired before you do. It adjusts your seat, lowers the music, warns you to take a break, and someday it may even drive you home safely. Welcome back to Tech News. My name is Karthik. Today we're diving into smart cars, vehicles like Tesla, Rivian, Lucid, BMW, and even Ford. And they no longer adjust machines with wheels, but computers on the road. These cars are packed with AI, software updates, sensor, cameras, and data systems that are reshaping the transportation, privacy, safety, and even our daily habits. But here's a big question. Are smart cars making our lives better or are we giving up more control than we realize it? Let's break it down. Smart cars aren't defined by electric motors alone. What truly makes them smart is software first design. The key technologies powering smart cars are used by AI, sensor camera and radar, linear, cloud connectivity, over the air software update, advanced driver assistance system. Here's an example I'll provide you. Teslas have autopilot full self-driving with OTA updates. Rivian has Driver Plus adventure focused software and cloud updates. Lucid has advanced battery tech plus AI efficiency. And then we have the BMW and Mercedes with AI dashboards, gesture controls, and voice assistant. These cars learn over the time just like our smartphone. Teslas change the game by treating cars like software platform. What they do differently is that they update their cars overnight, adds features you didn't even pay for initially, and collects real world driving data to improve AI. Here's a real impact. Navigation improves with traffic learning. Energy efficiency gets optimized via software. But Tesla's also collecting massive amount of driving data, and that raises a question we'll get to shortly. The next car I wanna to get to is the Rivian. Rivian isn't just building electric trucks. They're building experience-driven technology. What makes Rivian stand out is by design from the outdoor and adventure lifestyle. It's AI-assisted off-road driving mode, cloud-connected diagnostics, and driver plus systems for highway automation. Rivian shows a smart car aren't one size that fits all. They can be tailored to specific lifestyle, not just for commuters. How is smart cars changing the technology itself? Well, smart cars are influencing the entire industry. It pushes forward to autonom autonomous driving, ride sharing with our drivers, and reduced accidents through AI assistance. The software and AI development for these cars are now rolling into AI labs, which means billions of miles of data are used to train the algorithm. For energy and sustainability, it is very smart in charging, battery optimization, and it has a vehicle-to-grid technology. Basically, we can charge our cars at home. The user's experience with these smart cars has personalized driver's profile and predictive maintenance alert. Here's the pros of having an electric car. The safety of collision warning, lane keeping assistant, automatic emergency braking, and reduced human error. The convenience is it auto parks itself. It has a remote control climate, smart navigation, and we can use our phone as a key. We no longer have to take physical keys to our car to just turn on the ignition. It helps to fix system bugs by having over the air software updates. The new features adds over the time and no dealership is even required to be visited. I own a Tesla. Every time I have a problem, I have the guy come to my house and he'll replace anything that needs to be replaced depending on the message I'm receiving on my screen. All I do is I just book it online and the schedule is set and it's ready to go. 
The environmental impact has lower emissions, energy efficient for driving, and better battery management. Smart cars are safer, cleaner, and smarter than any traditional vehicles. But here's the problem. The privacy and data collections with these cars are being collected. Who owns the data? Can it be sold or hacked? Over reliance on automation, we lose our basic driving skills. AI still makes mistakes, false sense of security. Smart cars are very expensive. Repairs cost more. Software subscriptions add up. Now, what about cybersecurity? Cars can be hacked. Software bugs can affect safety. Dependence on cloud service is needed. Smart cars raise a critical question. At what point does convenience become surveillance? How are we going to look at the cars in the future? Well, there, there's going to be probably fully autonomous vehicle, AI-powered traffic systems, cars that can talk to other cars, vehicles that adapt to your health and emotions, and subscription-based features becoming standard. Cars won't just take your place. They predict where we need to go. Here's my final take. Smart cars like Tesla, Rivian, and others are redefining technology on wheels. They offer incredible safety, efficiency, and innovation, but also challenges our idea of privacy, ownership, and control. The future of driving isn't just electric, it's intelligent. So the real question is, are we driving the technology or is it driving us? If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and Spotify. Follow me on Facebook Tech News. Thanks for listening and I'll catch you on the next episode.